The story of Martinsville Speedway for Hendrick Motorsports is the tale of two tracks. On one hand, it's the track that started it all for HMS. In April of 1984, Jeff Bodine won the first ever race for Hendrick Motorsports in the number five car, validating everything Rick Hendrick had worked so hard for. That win was a launch pad for a Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series program that to this day has racked up 12 championships, 245 victories, 24 of those coming at the famed half mile in Southern Virginia. But the other side of the Jekyll and Hyde relationship is a darker one. The track that was the spark for Hendrick's success would come to be a haunting reminder of how quickly life can change. On October 24, 2004, a Hendrick Motorsports plane carrying 10 people, including Rick's son Ricky, crashed en route to Martinsville Speedway. There were no survivors. The FAA reported they lost contact with a Hendrick Motorsports airplane inbound for Martinsville earlier today. In one day, an organization saw triumph in tragedy. Unaware of the accident, Jimmy Johnson drove to his first Martinsville win. At the time, the 11th for the organization. There was no celebration, no victorious chimes on the grandfather clock, just sorrow and uncertainty. But time can heal, and so can racing. Since 2004, Hendrick Motorsports has continued to collect grandfather clocks at Martinsville, another 13 in fact, including the 93rd and last Cup Series win for Jeff Gordon. Gordon wins at Martinsville. We're going to Homestead. You want to talk about home back emotions? A ninth grandfather clock and a reminder of the success and longevity of an organization which has overcome adversity time and time again. Each victory lane celebrates success, but all 13 since 2004 have celebrated something more, with a simple gesture connecting the timeless history of Hendrick Motorsports and Martinsville Speedway.